So you want to get started in voiceover, but there's all these opportunities out there. There's TV, radio commercials, there's explainer videos, there's movie trailers, there's audiobooks, there's animation. Do you go after them all or do you just focus on one or two? I'll share some of my experience with you right now. Okay, in my last video, I encouraged you to make your own demo. So then begs the question, with all the opportunities that are out there, what kind of demo should I make? Should I make a commercial demo? Should I make a narration demo? Should I make an animation character demo? Should I, you know, and really, so what I'm going to do is you really should only pick, first start with what you're most passionate about and really why you want to get started in voiceover in the first place. And I'm going to share with you some of my own experience and what I've done. And then I'm going to share with you a little bit of what I know of as where most of the work is. So I get asked this all the time. How can a person that just does impressions, you know, uh, get, get voiceover work, consistent voiceover work? I'm going to try to save most of you 15 years of experience in this. And it's very, very difficult to do, okay? Uh, now, I'm not here to, to squash anybody's dreams, all right, and what they're passionate about. I'm just here to say that, you know, you can be, uh, a, you can do a good impression of Morgan Freeman, or you can do a good impression of Homer Simpson, or Donald Trump, or whatever, you know, but if you're going to try to do that in a commercial format, it's illegal to say, hey, I'm so-and-so, and speaking on behalf of XYZ Company, you can't do that. It's illegal. So, you know, impressions of people are usually, you know, to, to made for videos. Uh, I've been paid to do a lot of different characters uh, uh, in different formats, um, you know, but I, it will not give you a good sustainable source of income. Okay. It's just, it's, it's so limited. So, be, you know, be careful there. Uh, what you really should do is focus on your own characters and your own voice, right? And you can do impressions and you can pull them out of your hat whenever it gives a good range, but you know, develop your own characters. Now, I, you know, some of the most famous people in the world, like, you know, like Mike Myers and, and such, they, they've taken old relatives and people that they knew and, and, and they were different, right? And, and they develop voices and characters around them. You know, I've done that. You know, I've got kids. Uh, every stuffed animal had, a, had its own voice. You know, uh, having dogs, uh, you know, every dog's got their own voice. You know, if you've got a dog or cat, don't tell me they don't have a voice and you can't develop new characters because they do. All right. So anyway, uh, you know, th this whole niche, I'm going to say it's all in, in the animation genre. OK, so, uh, you, you know, do you, you can do uh, your demo based on your own original characters. Maybe, you know, you can throw throw some voices in there, too. But uh, really, you know, you're limited to to animation companies, you know, uh, studios and. Uh, uh, ADR is what's called audio dialogue replacement. If you are looking to match voices, uh, you know, can dub in for, uh, it, you know, other languages and such. Uh, I'll put a few links to what I know below. There's some animation places that you can go. But really, when you're when you're uh, auditioning for uh, different characters, I mean, a lot of this is live. So it's not like you can record a voice and send it off and see what they think. A lot of this is live. So you're on Skype, uh, ISDN, what's called Source Connect now. Uh, you know you're there in front of people and 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 you're 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 auditioning right right live. So it does take a lot more acting skills uh, live to do that. But uh, re really, it's 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 the genre I choose to to go after. But you you need to do a lot of work with it. And uh, like I said, I will post some things below. But that's sort of the genre of animation. And even more difficult than animation is going to be the movie trailers. Now I'm not a movie trailer guy. Um, you, you know, th this, you pretty much almost have to know somebody or have to be an established voice actor already for anybody to give you a look there. So even with Dan, Dan LaFontaine uh, passing away years ago, there's still a good handful of people that do it and, uh, they look to them to do it. So a uh, very tight knit group there. You have to have an agent, uh, somebody to get in the door if you're not already there and you're going to have to live in LA uh, you, you know, or New York, one of those places once again. So it's going to be a, a very narrow focus is movie trailer. Okay. So enough of the negative talk about, oh, how tough voiceover is and how, you know, how to get into these places. You know, the, why I'm leaving this to last is it's the best. Okay. The, the best and easiest ways to get, uh, you know, find your niche uh, is really the industry will tell you, you know, where, you know, where, where your best fit. 
And where I think you should get started is number one in commercials. Doing a commercial demo probably is the best thing to do when you're starting out and you're not sure, um, you know, because there's the most amount of work in commercials and some form of narration. That's like 80% of the voiceover industry. Think about it. Commercials, right? Turn on the radio, uh, watch a video, uh, watch television. They, they all have commercials and they're needing voiceover work. So that, and you can find it locally too. So th that's a really, really good place to start. The other, and even bigger maybe than commercials, is, you know, some form of narration, doing audio books, uh, na narrating for, for uh, web-based web videos, explainer videos, corporate videos, you know, a lot of work there. And once again, local. So you, you don't have to go very far and you can look at, on these places on your own and you can solicit them. You can email them and say, hey, you know what, I, you know, I, I love the work you do. Are you looking for voice actors for your next project? You can do these kind of things on your own. I'm not here to cover marketing today. That's a bigger, that, that is in, in, our, in, in being a voice actor and having your own voiceover business. Marketing is the number one thing we need to focus on. But really to make a demo and to start looking at and discovering your niche, really you should look to those two places, commercials and some form of narration. Uh, but like I said in the be uh, beginning of this little clip is the industry will tell you what you're best at and what you know most people are looking for. They'll actually find your niche for you. So there you go, a little information on genre and niches. So I hope this has helped you, or at least uh, some of you out there. Please feel free to leave a comment or question below. I'd appreciate it if you also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, at Rod Rodney Dean 44 Click the button there so you can get notified of future videos that I do. Okay, so you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. I'm Rodney Dean.